Hello everyone and welcome back to the Adventurous Way channel. We're here today at the Gila Cliff Dwellings National Monument in New Mexico. This is the fifth National Park unit on our journey to visit all of the National Park units across the US. Today at the Cliff Dwellings we're going to do a, a short loop hike up to the Cliff Dwellings themselves. Later on we're going to be doing some other hikes in the area, so come along and join us as we explore the Gila Cliff Dwellings National Monument. First, let's back up a minute. After our time at White Sands, we spent several days boondocking at the Sierra Vista Trailhead BLM land, Mirlos Cruces. If you're in the area, I would definitely recommend checking it out. We liked it so much when we stayed there before White Sands that we chose to stay there again afterwards. The Gila Cliff Dwellings are located 45 miles north of Silver City in southeastern New Mexico. Because we wanted to spend multiple days at Gila Cliffs, we decided to drive up into the mountains for a few days with our RV. Drivers of large RVs or towing trailers are advised not to take Highway 15 and instead use Highway 35 from Silver City. This is what we did. Well, I'll fix. We stayed at Hilla Hot Springs Campground. It's a small campground with no hookups, but you can soak in the hot springs. Already at 6,000 feet high in a hill wilderness, the Mogollon people built dwellings even higher, up in the cliffs. They only lived here for around 20 years, but their legacy lives on, and the caves are now protected within the Hilla Cliff Dwellings National Monument. These were built around 1270, but were abandoned after just a few decades. Just spoken to Joanne, she's a volunteer for the National Park Service and she is looking after the trailhead here today. We're now on the trail and she's told us there's two different ways we can go. We can either go off down this way, uh, which is kind of an easier route up to the top. Uh, it's about 180 feet of elevation gain to get to the, to the dwellings. Taking that route would be a, a sort of a more gradual, easier slope. We're going to head this way. Um, we're going to head in a clockwise direction around the route here. And this is pretty flat for a while as we head up through the canyon. And then we'll get to one kind of short, steep section that we have to climb the full 180 feet up to the dwellings. So come along and let's head on up the trail. Although the caves have been used for thousands of years by groups of nomadic people, the Mongolian were the first to settle here and build structures. Contained within five caves are as many as 46 rooms built by the Mogollon to live in. We're at the point on the map where it says there's a photo viewpoint, but we were talking to Joanne at the start, the volunteer, and she said that we get a much better view of the cliff dwellings up there if we go one more corner around on the trail. So let's see if she's right. We are now one more turn on the trail around from where we were down there. I don't know about you, but I'm not convinced that's a much better view. I wonder if it's one more turn up that we need to go. Let's try that. Yep, this was it. We're now two turns up from that viewpoint, and I think that's a pretty good view up there. Here now in cave number three. This is the largest of the caves here at the Gila Cliff Dwellings. Inside here you can see it's got a really arched ceiling. So in winter this would have been a really comfortable place for the people to, to be because it would have been much warmer. The outside here, the, the entrance, is shaped in such a way that would have naturally let summer light get filtered out and wouldn't have reached inside. Whereas light in winter with the sun much lower in the sky would have been able to come in here and keep it warm as well. You can also see the ceilings are blackened and that would have been from the smoke of fires that they'd lit inside to keep it warm. Around me you can see evidence of various walls and bits of the floor. Inside this would have been a two-level cliff dwelling. The lower level uh, leading up to the, the upper level 
to account for the sloping nature of the inside here. Cliff dwelling number three also connects through to the other cliff dwellings, so we're going to follow the trail through and see where it goes. We've just come out of cave three and now we're going to head along the trail to the next cave dwelling. So let's head on in. We've just finished our hike here up to the Gila Cliff Dwellings. Uh, really nice hike, took us a little over an hour and a half to do. Uh, it is only about a mile and there is one steeper section as they said. Uh, however, we just took our time. We were taking loads of photos, uh, so it's pretty good fun. We're here at the Gila Hot Springs Campground about four miles away from the Gila Cliff Dwellings National Monument where we were earlier. And although we choose normally to boondock, we thought we'd stay here because of these hot springs. And they're pretty awesome. Yeah. Loving this. It's about 50 degrees outside and... It's a lot more than that in here. Yes. It's nice. Very it's nice. Real nice. Comfortable warm temperature. at the Buddhist Corral Trailhead and we are going to hike EE Canyon Trail and see whether we can find a viewpoint of Gila Cliff Dwellings. Thanks for joining us here at the Gila Cliff Dwellings National Monument. We've only been here for a couple of days, uh, but we've had a great time. We had the hike up to see the cliff dwellings, which was super good fun. They are absolutely incredible. And then we've been on another hike today where we've seen them from a different angle. All in all, we've really enjoyed our time here. Would definitely recommend if you're in the area, come along and visit. For now, that's our time here done though. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more videos. One of the reasons for the RV length restrictions at the Hillock Hot Springs Campground is that the access road is a very steep dirt road. We made it out, but four-wheel drive was required, as the truck couldn't tow the trailer up the last section in two-wheel drive mode. We tried. Gila Cliff Dwellings National Monument was our last stop in New Mexico before heading to Arizona. We're planning to be back in northern New Mexico later, but for now we're continuing west into Arizona. Our first stop will be Fort Bowie National Historic Site. We're here today at the Gila Cliff Dwellings National Monument in New Mexico. No, that's Gila Cliff Dwellings. No, 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 no. Gila. I can read. 
No, it's a Spanish word. That's why it's Gila. Oh, come on. Okay. We're here again. today at the Gila Cliff Dwellings National Monument.